hello traders uh, hello traders uh, today is the 21st of uh, october 2010 a very busy week this week uh, with all sort of news all sort of things happening okay <laughs> but uh, that's the trading okay right here i have our lovely crazy currency pair the usdn the dollar yen currency pair okay and uh, like i highlighted last time uh, i'm doing uh, more and more video about uh, this currency pair because uh, this will give us a bit of idea what is happening in the stock market right now and also because this is a major thing that has ha happening in the market uh, the usd yen has been going down for some time okay so when the usd yen start rising that will be a major shift in the market so we cannot afford to uh, uh disregard the usd yen okay we have to keep watching it okay in order to analyze the the change in the sentiment of the market okay and last time when i was doing this video i was telling you that uh, uh, we have stopped completely uh, selling the usd yen every uh, clear cut selling signal we just ignore it okay and we are focusing only on a clear cut buying opportunity and uh, the uh, i did the one video on this particular day when my cursor is and the price was going up the next day the price went back down and today again it start going up again and uh, we'll see tomorrow what's going to happen with the master key day trading system you don't have to worry if it's going up you will know you will follow it if it's going down you will know you follow it you do not get into this trap of selling only to see the price going up okay <laughs> or only to sell and see the price going down you will do the right thing making your decision more and more accurate because the master key has been designed carefully to have accurate decision okay now what we have to remember here is that uh, this is the intervention of the japanese government here which i always talk about today i want to go a little bit further with the market geometry okay by drawing a few lines on this chart as i said to you before if you cannot uh, draw uh, do not uh, trade <laughs> okay so this is what is uh, uh, happening now what i will do i will do a projection of this uh, candle here to this level here okay so thinking of the projection of this uh, candle here to this level here we can uh, draw a line here okay we will say that uh, this is this uh, the same candle this candle the length of this candle we bring it to this level here and then we will just draw our line to join them okay so this is what we want to talk about the geometry okay there's nothing to worry about this is our if you want to call it rectangle or lozenge whatever you want to call it that is it is here this is the market geometry okay so we just keep drawing things to see what is likely to happen here and then this one here is the price itself we can draw another line here okay the price is right here now in this zone i hope you can see it it's just there so we are expecting the price okay to continue the movement to the upside okay and uh, uh, to find a resistance um, either in this zone here okay drawing our pitchfork i'll quickly draw my uh, pitchfork here uh, for you so that uh, you can uh, know exactly what we can expect okay uh in this uh, uh, market okay i'll leave the pitch for for now okay not nothing complicated i'll leave it for now so we want the price to to to, to go up to this uh, uh, level here okay to form uh, this uh, uh, rectangle if you want to call it that way okay to this level here so right now the con the, the, the what you need to remember is that uh, where this uh, price is now this uh, usd yen is now if we count the candle i'm going to draw another line do not be scared about the line we just draw them because we are doing our homework so it's perfectly okay to draw the line i'll color this line a bit different so you can see it uh, better i'll color it red okay that's the red line here so if we count the candles okay below this red line and the candle above this red line okay let's try to do that okay so that's the first candle we count this one that is touching the line as part of the one below so one two three four five six seven okay eight nine ten 
11 12 13 and 14 so we have 14 candle this one also touch we count it 14 candle to the downside of this uh, red horizontal line and we count also the candle here on the top of it one two three four five six seven eight nine or ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen average fourteen on each side okay there's some some dots here we don't count them dots here so average of candle above this red horizontal line is 14 average of candle below this can be below this red line also is 14 okay so all together is the 28 candle from here to here okay each and uh, the dividing line is this red uh, uh, horizontal line okay we know also in the stock market that when the market move 14 days no stop so if the market is moving up it move is moving up 14 days in a row in the upside the professional are likely to take profit they respect that after 14 days from the 13th day to the 14th day the professional are looking for opportunity to take profit the same thing if the price going down after 14 days in a row like it did here one two three four five to 14 they are likely to take profit so we are expecting them to take profit in this zone here okay so be aware of that you may go to uh some of uh, the the dojon stocks or the nasdaq stock and check some stock that has been going on going up for 14 days in a row now or more of stock that are going down for 14 days in a row and look for opportunity whether there will be a clear cut valid reversal or not do not just go and sell or buy because they were going up or down for 14 days but look for a clear cut value signal that will confirm that they are likely to take profit right now as you can see if you look at my uh, uh, my stochastic indicator here is quite uh, there's a big divergence between uh, my stochastic indicator and the price you see it's going up nicely here my stochastic indicator i hope you can see it okay it's going up nicely while the price was going down for 14 days so like i said to you before it's just the news that is keeping this uh, uh, currency pair down okay as you can see uh, uh yesterday night there was some uh, huge movement to the upside again to to clear up the market those who are selling again i think uh, they learn it today that's why they start closing their position today but uh, we we'll watch carefully for opportunity to buy if there is opportunity to buy we we'll continue to watch this uh, currency pair carefully okay so this is uh, about the usd yen a very important currency pair that we must keep watching okay as the dojons we are expecting dojons index to continue movement to the downside to give us a clear cut double bottom pattern on the weekly chart slowly but surely the market will come to that point we will see if that is happening we'll see the usd yen also start going up slowly but surely all the news will start to back up the, the usd yen to start going up we will see whether it's going to go up or not but with the master key day trading system nobody will fool you you will know each day whether it's going up or going down do not just come and buy it anyhow any place <laughs> that's not the way the professional doing it use the tool that are working in order to participate in the direction of the market if tomorrow again don't be surprised if the price come back down again okay so you not assume anything try to use your master key day trading system and you will be part of the movement either way they move okay so i hope you enjoyed this video that you put what you have seen here into practice and use it yourself in your training in order to cream this market consistently this is about the geometry of the market until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy thank you